And we are definitely live and in, in living color, well, at least on the radio, that is. And, well, <laughs> we have to do things late because, as you know, uh, I am in a mental health uh, facility, a short-term stay mental health facility that could be transferred in at any time. And we could be delayed in certain programs. So, uh, yeah, because I don't know what the heck I could be. Every time I take action, it's always that hurry up and wait. Every time I take action, every time. It's ridiculous. Uh, but anyway, so we're here to talk about fast lane. And yes, even though we couldn't do predictions because the scheduling uh, uh, situation is beyond our control, uh, fast lane used to start as a way for wrestlers who wasn't able to get in the Royal Rumble, uh, not Royal Rumble, but WrestleMania, and after they lost in the Royal Rumble or some other matches, they were able to do a fast lane. But then WWE had other ideas about fast lane. They still keep the pay per view, but now it's not a way to fast lane people to WrestleMania anymore. So, yeah, but that's what we're going to do, which is really cool. Yeah, so, ladies and gentlemen, you know the man behind the badge, the man behind the voice, the man behind the <laughs> big yeah. country, yeah. along with yeah, the chief Charles of Berman. Yep. Exactly. This is, um, Charles Berman. This is Charles Berman, a.k.a. the sheriff here at Big D Country, and we're here to talk about the Russell, the fast lane results. Yes, Sean? You ready? Yeah. So, all right, so what did you think about fast lane uh, that Saturday? It was actually a really, really good pay per view. Yeah, I mean, I heard the build. I heard the build up on Friday Night SmackDown was uh, between the Bloodline and Judgment Day was really good. Yeah, they actually I'm joined forces. Like, whoa, authorized. Holy moly! Exactly. Oh wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute. Uh, uh, Big C. Yes, sir. Acknowledge the Lord. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but the anyway. attendance was 14,529. It was held in Indianapolis, Indiana, home of the Indianapolis 500. Hmm. Oh, wow. Was actually, yeah. Yep. And here's the um, results for this pay-per-view. Um, Cody Rose and Jay Uso defeated the Judgment Day, Spin Balor and Damian Priest. By pinfall. Become the new tag team champions at the time of 20, 20 minutes and 40 seconds. And I you know, I actually wanted uh, a new tag team champion because I, I was tired of the, uh, uh, the, um, the, um, all the evil fashion has the gold. I mean, yeah, that was, that was good. That was really good. But Damian Glad Priest that. suffered an injury during that match. Ooh, what, wrong move? But, Knee, yeah, knee injury botch. Oh, oh, that didn't need to happen, yeah. though. Yeah, it Ouch. does happen. Um, Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar, Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar, and the returning Carlito defeated Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits in a six-man tag team encounter at ten minutes even. Now that the sheriff is cool. That's cool. <laughs> I had to put out a plea there. Yeah. Yeah. He had to bring it he had to bring it back. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Um Eo Sky defeated Asuka and Charlotte Flair by pinfall in a triple threat match for the WWE women's for the women's strap. So she retains the title, right? Yep. At um seventeen minutes and twenty seconds. Oh wow. That was really and, good. Uh, yeah, and the um, tag team match. John Cena and L.A. Knight defeated the Bloodlines, Jimmy Uso, and Solo Sokoa with Paul Heyman by pinfall. Now, I actually watched that match very closely because um, Paul Heyman actually started to get gray hairs. His hair oh. actually started to become gray. All the Oh, wow. He actually doesn't have that black hair anymore. He's actually gone full gray. Yeah, I mean, he has grown old in WWE. I mean, he he he's built his career around it. Around professional wrestling as well. He is Paul E. Dangerously in WCW and also in ECW as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. That, that was before he became an owner and then um, head office and yada, yada, yada. Yeah, that's amazing. 
Wow. Did anyway, you see a, and did you see the exchange between uh, Rhea Ripley and Paul Heyman? Did you see that on on SmackDown? Actually I wasn't actually I didn't actually I didn't. I was really actually I didn't that night. Actually yeah, I didn't. I was good. It was really interesting. Really interesting. Yeah. And also for the main event, Seth freaking Rollins speech, Shinsuke Nakamura for the for the WWE World WWE World Heavyweight Championship and last man standing match at twenty eight minutes and twenty five seconds. Oh that so, match went back and forth. Back and forth. Oh so you mean in one two kick out, one two kick out, all that stuff? No, it's last man no last man standing match. Oh, 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 okay. They, yeah, they had to get a 10 count. Uh, they had to decapitate their opponent for a 10 count in order to win the match. Oh, okay. Okay. I mean, this match, both of them were great superstars. Oh, wow. Wow. And that was Fastlane 2023. And the time of that match is 28 minutes and 25 seconds. So the good news is all the faces won. That's the good news. This is mostly a phase one pay per view. Yeah, at least that's good. But the storyline must have been good. Yeah. And we also got some wrestling news too. Alright. Hit, hit me. We also got some we also got we also got some storyline breaking news. Ooh. Go right ahead. Okay. Well, they're actually gonna be reported by Cultaholic. WWE planning to re- still still use plans for originally intended for Bray Wyatt. <gasps> oh, for Uncle Howdy Taylor Rotunda. So they they're still gonna do the um you know they still gonna uh, uh do his legacy. The six. Do the Wyatt six. Oh wow! I'm happy for that. That is going to be interesting. Taylor Rotunda, I love it. Taylor, okay. Ray White, brother. Yeah. AKA okay. Uncle Howdy, I'm really happy for it. Uncle Howdy. Yeah. Taylor Rotunda, AKA Bo Dallas. Oh, wow. Okay, I got a question for you. Where would you be in a Bray Wilder from family? Who would you Who would you see yourself as? I see myself as an enforcer for the Wyatt family. Ooh, ooh. Well, you are the sheriff. I can tell you that. Well, well, I will. I well, I probably like to tag with them, Uncle Howdy, aka when, aka Taylor. Yeah. Um, I yeah. I really miss him. He's one of my he was one of my favorites of the new generation. Oh man. He yeah. Was one of my favorites. Wait, did you forget about the debut of a, a former AEW superstar? Oh, Jade, Jade Cargill. Sorry about that. I over, over, over saw that. My bad. Full shot. That was that was no. Actually, that wasn't a long. Uh, yeah, that was a long shot as well as a. That was well as a. <laughs> or take that. that was, not now. That, that was like a. Oops. My bad. Yep. So, what do you think about her debut? Hmm. If they if they do her well, I could probably see her like a big mega star. Oh, like the way they built her up in AEW. Yeah, and also um, Brian Pillman Jr. is going to be debuting in NXT soon. <gasps> oh, this should be interesting. Yeah, the son of legendary pro wrestler Brian Pillman, aka Flying <laughs> Brian from WCW. Yep. He tagged up with um, Stone Cold Steve Austin, one half of the Hollywood Blondes, former WCW World Tag Team Champions. Wow. Uh, I think you're going to make me feel old, Cheryl. Thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah, we're all good. Thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, this was actually a really, really good news wrestling news day. But if you want to find out more about it, check out some of the other um, wrestling YouTube channels like Wrestle Talk. That's where I got mostly of my news from today. Oh, cool. Support Wrestle Talk. <laughs> also, Walk Culture Wrestling. So I can also listen to that as well. Oh, cool. Excellent. 
Yeah, I follow some wrestling channels as well, so yeah, but um, yeah. it's all that's good. Where most, that's where we get most of our sources too. Yeah, that's right. We always try to cite the sources here in Big D country. So, but anyway, yeah. we'll, be, we'll, uh, be fact check. We, we'll be fact check. We what the heck? It's what it's what we do here. It's what we hear. It's what we do here on the Big D Zone part of the wrestling part of the wrestling part of the wrestling podcast. Exactly. Now, uh, what is the next pay per view that we? Well, I don't know if we may be able to work on it or not, but still, just tell the, the, the folks what the rest, next wrestling pay per view is anyway. Mm-hmm. I have an idea, but uh, isn't it Crown Jewel? Um, let me check the next pay per view. Okay. <laughs> Uh, the next pay per view coming up is going to be WWE. The next one's going to be. Oh, they're actually not having it this year. Oh, never mind. Now I made a long shot. No, 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 no. You're fine. You're fine. They oh, actually okay. did not have it. They actually did not have Extreme Rules this year. Oh, oh. A year without extreme rules? Holy. Ouch. Wow. I mean, holy moly. Exactly. I mean, I mean, I didn't think that they would go. I guess this is going to be as a tribute to Bray Wyatt. Oh, you mean the next pay view? Yeah. Because, you know, this was being been perfect for Bray Wyatt, you know. Oh, yeah. Because they, you know, uh, they could make up their own rules and stuff like Yeah. Wow. Woo. Well, Becky Lynch is scheduled. Well, Becky Lynch... Becky Lynch is actually scheduled to take... Scheduled to... Well, yeah, because um, they were supposed to do extreme rules this year, but yeah. Oh no, 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 no! It's Sheriff Big C. Yeah. Yeah, that's all right though, but <laughs> that's why. Like, yeah. It's amazing, but I'm glad they're seeing what they're still doing with this. I'm really happy though. Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> As a fan of Bray Wyatt, you know, I was really shocked they did fast lane instead of extreme rules this year. Yeah, I'm shocked too. I was like, well, since when does that WWE don't do a stream rule? That that's a baby. Yeah, well, this year they want to do something different though. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, you know, everybody was still hot off of it, you know. Oh, okay. Give them, give them time to mourn. Oh, what the heck? Yeah. Well, like they say, it's what it's whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's life. But hey, yeah. Hey, we hey we did pretty good time on timing on this week's podcast. Yeah, we sure are. I mean, do you have any words of wisdom since we're on time? Just, just never give up. Just keep moving forward every day. Exactly. Hustle, loyalty, respect. <laughs> okay. So how can how can people get in contact with your podcast? Um just visit um YouTube channel at Big C and I'm at YouTube dot com slash Big C one nine eight seven. That's my YouTube channel. All right. Um, yeah. On the Facebook site, it's, um Facebook dot com slash I'll I'll tell you about it some it's called the STL Ocarina Podcast. It's, um, every Thursday at six Eastern, five Central on Facebook. Then after that, it'll, it'll be uploaded on the YouTube end, which you can watch every week. There you go. There you go. Uh, listen to the sheriff. He got some good podcasts. It's got some good stuff on the way, and he also used great music from The Price Is Right. Makes you actually feel like you're in the studios in The Price Is Right. You know, make you picture yourself like you're actually in the audience in the in the show, or formerly from Studio Thirty Three. <laughs> exactly, exactly. exactly. So, listen up to a podcast. Yeah. yeah, 
Although I might, although yeah, we're having a lot of fun with you doing these things, you know. Yeah. All right. And thank you so much, everyone, for listening in on this episode of the Big D Zone. Exactly. Uh, we're going to be, the, like I said, until I get into a second palace, uh, there might be some delays in the podcast, like I said, because I could I could be put in a very dangerous situation. Uh, so, but um, the sheriff still have his post. He still have his job. Uh, he still is a co-host, uh, especially for the wrestling genre. So I still expect you to keep up with wrestling, Sheriff. All right, um, and I'm probably gonna keep on uploading. I'm probably gonna do. I'm probably gonna spice it up on my, on my end of the. I'm probably gonna spice it up on the YouTube. I'm probably gonna spice it up on the YouTube side, right? As graphics yeah. and stuff. If, if you don't mind with that, Deshaun. I'll go. You got my blessings, Sheriff. You have my blessings. Yeah. Yeah. All right, sweet. Plus, I'm um, actually got a WWE title I could probably use on the podcast as well. <laughs> <gasps> oh, nice. Whoa. That is nice. So, yeah, you heard it here live sh- uh, first. The sheriff have my blessings in Big D country. And uh, speaking of the Big D country, uh, on if you're watching us on YouTube, well, I mean, you know, hearing us on YouTube, but what the heck. If you listen to the podcast anywhere, I'm doing a fundraiser to help me back on our feet. As you know, SSA just did something very terrible to a lot of us who are on disability or maybe SSI, and they did overpayments and some. They just take wipe out. They said they're not going to pay a lot of us until next year, and they expect us to survive penniless. That's why right, you heard me. They expect us to survive penniless which is wrong, and it almost gave me a nervous breakdown after the landlord kicked me out after I got that letter of death. So uh, the GoFundMe uh, page will be in the description. Where? Down below in the description. So please contribute what you can uh, to help me not only get a hotel because there's a lot of shelters that I don't feel safe in, and there is... Uh, I can't walk across bit bad, very bad streets, so, I mean, y'all don't want to see me get hurt, right? Y'all don't want to see me get hurt. So, help out there, and uh, Sheriff, as always, you've been doing an excellent hell of a job. Hell of a Thank job. You. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Anytime. So, I guess when I get back on my feet, I'll see, I'll, uh, we'll be podcasting again. Yes, sir. Yeah. You know what? Well, I'm going to let the sheriff close it all out. Till next time, this is this is the sheriff, Charles Berman, a.k.a. Big C. And my good friend, Deshaun Porter, a.k.a. Big D, Anchors the Wave, welcome to Big D Country, saying we'll see <laughs> you next time. <laughs>